bird, I've been into bird watching now for uh, since I was ten, maybe a bit younger, and it was a, a school teacher. I said, "Why don't you join the YOC, the Young Ornithologist Club? We do it at school," and I did, and I just got hooked. It's ever since then I got hooked, and as I got older and time went by, I did kind of drift away from it. And these last five, six years again, since especially meeting Julian with the Buffer Days out, it's come back with a vengeance. It's like the 20 years or something that I've not been doing it as much. It's like steamed back at me, like 100 mile an hour. And now happy, quite happy, just bird watching every single day. I'm nature watching for the rest of my life, I could do it. It's so relaxing. And it's exciting as well. And I likened it in one of the other videos to someone who likes fishing. Like a fisherman over on the other side of the lake and he'll set up his tackle like he's setting up your camera. And he'll get all his stalls out and then he'll just fish and he'll work the area where he's got his float or he's got his line going in. And he'll just work that area all day and hold for a bite and he will stare and stare on the a sheep, sorry. Or just stare and stare and wait for that bite. I used to watch my dad fishing, I even used to do it with him. And then and he used to sit there all day and I'm like, you go after a couple of hours well, Because I needed a, a little bite every now and again. Woodpecker. My Julie's staring at it, she's heard it. I'll get back to that story in a minute. And, that, and that's because when they're fishing, they just love it that much. And it's the same with bird, bird watching, bird photography. It's just, it's a glimpse. It used to be more so the glimpse, but now it's capturing the bird as an image now.